Hi, I'm Erica from celiacandthebeast.com, and thank you for stopping by my Kickstarter. Um, if you've pressed play on this video, I'm already one step ahead because that means you're somewhat interested, so thank you. Um, I am a blogger by trade on celiacandthebeast.com. You may also know me from my line of Gluten Free for Life merchandise. Um, that's at several gluten free expos and bakeries across the country. Also, you may know me from the Gluten Free Fairy, um, who's been making appearances on the internet. I can't really control her. Uh, anyway, regardless of how you know me, thank you for coming here. Um, if you were given this link by a gluten-free friend, make sure you high-five them for me. So, uh, welcome. If you don't know me from my blog, um, I write about the gluten-free lifestyle and um, how it's not always rainbows, puppies, and sunshine, which I think, you know, when you first get diagnosed, they just tell you, hey, just eat gluten-free and then everything's going to be 100% magical. Well, we all know that that's not the case. You have to navigate this wheat-filled, gluten-filled world, and it's not always easy, especially when they just kind of say, hey, you're diagnosed. Congratulations, go Google your condition. Um, so I want to be there for people who are recently diagnosed, but I also want to be people who are veterans, you know, who have been living this gluten-free life like I have for several years or several decades. Um, just to identify with kind of hilarious stories that happen in the gluten-free universe or maybe learn a thing or two or maybe be able to pass this book after you write it on to people that aren't really sure about your condition still or think that you're still doing it as a fad diet or think that you want to be like Miley Cyrus. Who knows? So we're really here to set the record straight and to use my humor and my sarcasm and um, what I always thought was the only thing I was really good at, which is telling jokes and writing. Why, hello out there. This is the gluten-free fairy. This is my loyal friend and accomplice, Murphy. He's also royal, but has no magical powers except to drool all over my laptop when he's sleeping. He's so cute. So, um, what's in this Kickstarter that you're pledging for? Well, there's a whole bunch of information down below me um, that outline the chapters that we're going to write about for this Kickstarter. And I'm very excited about it because it's really about living real life and how you can navigate in this world full of gluten and still kind of maintain your sanity. Um, and even if you've lost your sanity, hopefully you can read some stories and have a laugh or two along the way. Um, why I need Kickstarter. So, I'm not rich. That's unfortunate for me, um, and that's where you come into play. So I'm looking for um, publishers who can help like align my book so it looks visually pleasing, you know, when you read it. Um, I'm looking for cover art. I'm looking for. I'm getting it self-published, but I still need help, and that costs thousands of dollars. I don't necessarily have. I'm a freelance um, writer, so it's not like I'm rolling in money, and all of my savings has gone to making gluten-free apparel. So yay! Traveling across the country to expos is really, really. Exciting. Expensive, and um, I need your help, and I need your help to make this dream possible. Hello, and welcome to sunny, breezy, beautiful Southern California. This is Erica, aka Celiac and the Beast, and I'm filming from the gorgeous Playa del Rey. Um, so that's me. That's my Kickstarter. I really want you guys to get involved. We have some great rewards um, that are, I think, on this end of Kickstarter. Maybe it's this end. Regardless, they're on one of these ends. Um, great rewards with some of our great merchandise. So again, thank you so much for being a part of um, my journey as a writer and um, being a part of this Kickstarter. So thank you for believing in me. I really appreciate it. And uh, please help me raise the funds. Thank you.